All right, I wanted to make a quick video on rebuilding the master cylinder on my BMW R100 slash seven. Came home one day and found that all the uh, brake fluid was uh, was missing or gone from the reservoir and actually had been probably a slow leak because I noticed I had to replace or add more brake fluid every six months or so. So I took the ma uh, master cylinder apart and noticed there was a lot of oil coming um, out of this location. Actually, it was pretty wet, and so I, I removed this plunger. There's a little C-clip that holds it in place. Uh, this basically goes in, spring goes in, then this top hat, and then uh, this plunger goes in behind it, and then there's a C-clip that holds that in place. So basically, I purchased a, a rebuild kit. And the rebuild kit included the uh, plunger, these two gaskets, this cup. Uh, this cup goes inside uh, that gasket. Did not include the top hat, so I'm going to use the original, and it did not include a spring, so I'm using the original spring. So if you look at the um, the original plunger, you can see that this gasket actually looks like it's in fairly good shape at this one here. Uh, is looks like it's flattened or depressed so it doesn't look like it's actually making a good seal and that's I'm assuming where the fluid was coming out so we're gonna go ahead and replace that so I'm gonna go ahead and put this over to the side when you purchase this uh, plunger the gaskets are not installed so you do have to to put it uh, or install them and this one actually goes on fairly easy this one here uh, it's a little more tricky. You have to you have to be able to roll it over this this lip here, and I found uh, a website that showed one of those uh, hooks hook uh, handles. I'm not sure what you call them. Basically, a hook, and then you just kind of roll it in, and then you have to massage it into place. But there is an orientation, so be careful when you so be careful when you install that. You get the correct orientation. So the 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 uh, the upper lip. For both of these gaskets should be facing uh, inward. Okay, so the things you need uh, in order to install this uh, plunger, um, we do need to compress the spring when we insert the plunger. So I do have a uh, sort of a seat clamp here that I'm going to be using, and then that will uh, keep it compressed. And then uh, you do need these clip uh, pliers to be able to get this. Uh, C-clip or circlip, whatever you call it, uh, back in. So let's get started. So uh, I've got the gasket on there. I'm going to go ahead and put the cup with the uh, open, sort of the cup side towards the uh, towards the gasket. Then the top hat goes on, and then that top hat fits right into the spring. So let's go ahead and this here. A little tricky to do this around the camera. But I'm going to go ahead and put the spring in. Okay, now I need to be able to get apply some pressure and rotate. Okay, I can see that. Okay, so you can see what's going on there. So now what I need to do is get this compressed to the point where I can uh, attach the C-clip. can see the uh, clip need to get that usually like to 
rotate it, make sure it's in all the way. Okay, so once you have that in, I check to make sure that that clip is in there all the way. This is the uh, pin that sits in there. And looks like it's working well. Okay, here's the massive cylinder installed and is working well. Uh, when I did install it, I did have uh, some difficulty bleeding it. So uh, I did have to draw a vacuum using a uh, syringe and connect it to my, uh, my bleeder valve. And was able to bleed it that way. It took a little bit of effort, but uh, it did work out. So there's the... Uh, master cylinder reinstalled. These are difficult uh, because they don't twist uh, while you install them. They are basically, you basically have to rotate the entire master cylinder around them. It was not, I didn't uh, release that or I didn't loosen it up on both ends so um, as you rotate it, it just wants to twist up. So I might replace that. Uh, I'm assuming the newer ones will allow you to rotate it without um, having to have both ends free, but we'll find out.